Hey, this is Dr. Raghu from AdoptionDoctors.com and Adoption Education Classes. Today, I'm going to speak to you about iron deficiency anemia in the malnourished adopted child. Do malnourished internationally adopted or domestically adopted children suffer from iron deficiency anemia? Could this be a probable cause of the, the child's developmental delay? What do I, as an adoptive parent, do? It is a well-known fact that all children need to have a well-balanced diet in order to assure healthy physical and cognitive development. Children, children that live in orphanages and or foster care often suffer from malnutrition and environmental deprivation of varying degrees depending on where they are currently um, living in. These combined deficiencies can lead to serious vitamin deficiencies and can they lead to serious but easily reversible medical complications if they are recognized in a timely fashion. Iron deficiency anemia is by far the most common deficiency found in many of the internationally adopted children. Iron is essential for the normal brain growth in the production of hormones and energy metabolism. Children with this deficiency are at risk for suffering from severe anemia and developmental delays. There are various reasons why an institutionalized child is at risk for deficiency. The first one being the lack of maternal prenatal care, poor maternal health, most of the mothers are anemic themselves, no prenatal vitamins during the pregnancy, low birth weight of the infant, they have prolonged bottle feeding with formula that is not fortified with iron, they use tea in their diets, um, and that's an ingredient that inhibits the iron absorption in the body. Sometimes children have intestinal parasitic infections, causing microscopic blood loss, and there's sometimes concurrent lead poisoning, which can be um, associated with iron deficiency anemia. Normal term infants are born with enough iron stores for them to prevent deficiencies in the first month, four months of their lives. After four months, enough iron needs to be absorbed through their diet or therapeutic supplementation in order to keep up with their rapid growth and development. The most common age of iron deficiency is 6 to 24 months of age. Earlier deficiency generally occurs if there was a decrease in the iron stores secondary to prematurity, small birth weight, neonatal anemia, Older children need to be evaluated for blood loss. There is a significant evidence where clinically that clearly indicates that iron deficiency, in addition to causing anemia, additionally has some influences on behavioral and cognitive development of children if left untreated. Some clinical signs of iron deficiency anemia are as follows. The signs and symptoms do, um, vary depending on the severity of the deficiency. Mild anemia is generally asymptomatic, which means without signs. Moderate anemia, you can have some tiredness and exhaustion, irritability, pale skin, and the delay in motor development. Severe anemia, with complete depletion of iron stores, you can have some nail deformities, glossitis or like inflammation of the tongue, and you can have heart failure. Most children that arrive to the U.S. are in the mild to moderate anemia category. During the post-adoption um, medical evaluation, a routine blood count or a CBC is performed. These tests are used as screening tools if the child has a low hemoglobin or a hematocrit or otherwise called the H and H. We would indicate this could indicate iron deficiency. While this is while this is an excellent screening tool, unfortunately these laboratory anomalies appear commonly after it is already a depletion in the body's iron stores. A more accurate laboratory test would be to discover the deficiency would be iron studies, a serum ferritin, iron levels, iron binding capacity, and transferrin levels. These are diagnostic tests and not screening tools. Children that are internationally adopted should be considered high risk for being iron deficient. The diagnosis should be confirmed and dismissed with the iron studies. We should not wait for the child to become anemic or symptomatic 
a proactive attitude needs to be taken. The therapy for iron deficiency anemia is very easy to implement. A nutritious, well-balanced diet is mandatory. Children will benefit from iron-fortified cereals, formulas, and foods. Some iron-rich foods are beans, peas, spinach, and meats. While many parents feel that milk is healthy for the growing child, excessive amounts of milk are a major cause of iron deficiency anemia, even here in the U.S. Milk should be limited to only 19 ounces per day during the second year of life. Supplemental multivitamins for, fortified with iron or even therapeutic doses of iron may be necessary to treat these internationally adopted children. I hope this helps.